Natalie Perez, and I have an interview with the drummer of Cannibal Corpse on November 28th, <coughs> 2009. Uh, how was your Thanksgiving? It was uh, pretty uneventful, <laughs> but but it was good. It was, we had actually had a day off. Um, we had 14 shows in a row, and then we had Thanksgiving off, so it was good to have the day off, actually. So, um, But it was, like you said, it was very uneventful. Um, you know, we're on the road. I'm not with my family or anything, so that's what Thanksgiving is about to me. So it's really, it unfortunately, ended up being just another day. But like I said, the fact that we had a day off was nice. <laughs> cool. Looking forward to the remaining holiday season? Of course. You know, it's always, uh, we've been very busy um, throughout the month of October. And then, of course, this tour is going to be almost two months. So, um, you know, we're, we're ending just before Christmas. So it'll be nice to, uh, I think, everyone to get home and enjoy, you know, being with the families and all that. So we're looking forward to it. All right. Uh, what do you hope to find in the new year Christmas tree for Christmas morning? I don't even know anymore. To me, it's almost like, you know what, I don't want anything, I don't need anything, so I really don't. I mean, I just, it's its really just being with my family, you know, seeing my daughter, seeing my wife, and being around my family, that's the most important thing, so, um, yeah, I can't wait for that. All right. What about your latest record? What can be said about it that hasn't been? I don't know. Uh, good question, really. Um, it might seem to be tough to answer, I guess. I mean, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a, it, you know, it's a great record, I think. I think we, uh, you know, we felt we did a really good job at uh, doing the best we can and, and, and Eric doing the best he can producing and all that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if there is anything really left to say about it. Um, we're just we're just happy that it's doing as well as, as it is and, you know, the fans are buying it and we're on the road, uh, you know, arguably doing better than we've ever had. So, uh, you know, so it's just, a, it's just a great feeling all around, you know. Alright. Out of all the members of Cannibal Corpse, who goes um, the longest without showering? <laughs> Probably George, our singer, sometimes. <laughs> Um, you know, I know uh, most of us, you know, sometimes it's just hard to, you know, of course. But, but yeah, I think uh, I, it would be a safe answer to say, and I'm sure he would not object to that, uh, where it would be George being the culprit. <laughs> Have you ever played on stage without showering? Oh, of course. I mean, there's going to be days where <laughs> all of us have, you know. Um, I mean, sure, like, you know, usually you shower after the show, obviously, if you can. So, uh, for instance, uh, you know, today, I showered last night after the show, but I wasn't going to wake up and take another shower in the morning only to take one again after the show, you know. Yeah. So I can say I didn't shower today and I'm going to go on stage. <laughs> I would hope I'm still somewhat clean from, like I said, I took a shower last night, so I'll just wait until, you know, show's over and, and shower. But, yeah, sometimes not everybody does shower. You might go a day or two or what have you without, uh, without you know, getting a shower. It happens. <laughs> Um, what have been your best and worst interviews and band experiences? Uh, you know, um, I guess interviews are, are hit, or, hit, or, hit and miss. Um, a lot, most of them are, we do are, are very good, legit, you know, and I can tell with this interview being one of those as opposed to some of the interviews where people just might not know who you are, they don't even know your name, I mean, you know, they, they, they're they just lost on basic facts to where it just seems like, okay, you know, why, why, what, what are we doing this for then? I don't know, it's just, you know, it, it seems like if, if I'm going to be a person interviewing somebody, I'd at least have some knowledge of, you know, who, 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 right, who I'm talking to or what have you, so. So unfortunately, you know, can't really single anyone out in particular, but those are the ones that kind of get you a little bit like, okay, seems like a waste of time for the most part. Um, and then, you know, the fans, I mean, 99% of the fans are great, you know, I mean, they're, they're down to earth, you know, kids just want to, you know, meet you and, 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 you know, have a good time or what have you. I mean, and then, you know, you're going to get some, some of the ones that are just, you know, don't know when to, you know, just maybe keep their mouth quiet or just talking about things that are, what are you talking about, man, you know, so unfortunately there's those people out there too, but you know, you got to take the good with the bad and, you know, this is the way the business we're in, so, you know, we just, you have to deal with it. All right. You've toured with pretty much everybody. Who do you prefer touring with the most? Well, yeah, we have toured with a lot of bands. Um, you know, we've become friends with a lot of bands. And, uh, you know, it, it, that's a hard, also a hard uh, question to answer because there are so many great guys in, in, the, in the scene. And, you know, like I said, we've toured with so many of them and we've had a lot of great experiences. So it's hard. But, you know, if, if you're just talking, say, like a, in perspective of, you know, 
us being fans of music, I mean, we just lived our dream of touring with Slayer on that Mayhem Festival we just did over the summertime. So that was the first time that we were on the same bill with them, being able to play with them every night, kind of if they watch them and all that. So it was it was a dream come true for us in that regard. And um, I think we would love to do that again at any given point. <laughs> so hopefully it'll happen again. That would be nice. Cool. See what happens. Yes. <laughs> Um, what's it like going back to being a support act after so many years of being the headline? Yeah, it's a little different as well. I mean, you know, we, uh, you know, we've done this uh, a long time, yes, and we've we've headlined uh, almost everything we do, you know, in our whole career. So um, it is a little bit different for us to do this, but at the same time, you know, we felt. You know, we're one of the biggest death metal bands in the world. You know, I mean, we if we're going to headline, we're going to have a death metal package and the fans are going to come out. So I guess we just look at it as being, you know, trying to expand the fan base, playing maybe in front of some different fans or what have you and see what happens. You know, and that's why we're doing, you know, a tour uh, like we are uh, today. Um, obviously, the tour is just... Uh, you know, it's Hate Breed headlining us underneath them, Born of Osiris on Earth, and uh, and Hate Eternal. So for this show, being the two shows combined makes it a little more of an event. But uh, you know, but it, 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 yeah, we we like it. You know, I mean, it's something we're not used to. But at the same time, you know, you get to play a little earlier, you get to play a little less, kind of a thing. And uh, you know, we're we're not used to that. So, but it's a good thing to you know, it's a good thing to do now and then. We wouldn't want to do it all the time though. So it's not like it's going to be yes, whatever cannibals uh, we're going to be opening for somebody but you know we figured why not give it a, ch a, a chance and you know to see if we can uh, get some new fans uh, you know, listening and coming to the show. All right. Would you ever um, perform and have a set consisting of the songs that songs that of course everybody knows have a crash face would you ever consider not throwing ever all the songs that everybody knows? Uh, I think that would piss everybody off. Well, it would be tough. I mean, there's there's definitely the couple that we have to do. You know, if you're you're talking live set, obviously, right? Yeah. I mean, there's you know, if we didn't do Hammer, I think that would be tough. You know, I think the fans would be like, man, he didn't play Hammer's face face. I mean, you know, I would hope that the fans would still enjoy the set because we do have a lot of songs in our in our repertoire, and you know, there's so many songs that people rattle off anyways. Like, oh, why did you you didn't play that? You didn't play that? You didn't play that? Well, we still play 20 songs. I mean, I don't know what we can tell you. So, but I really think there's those couple staples that if we didn't do, I mean, and definitely Hammer being one, uh, that if we didn't play Hammer, I think people would be right. a little hurt. Right, you know? <laughs> I, maybe we can get away with every other song, you know, Strip Raped and Strangled, another one too that, you know, people really like, so I think all the rest of them, I think we'd be okay if we didn't, you know, have a song in there that normally we play or that people expect, so, yeah, but Hammer would be tough, it'd be tough not to do Hammer, yeah. Uh, can we expect to hear what's through the night tonight? That's uh, one of my favorites. Uh, well, I think that is in the set, you know, because um, unfortunately with the nine band bill that we got with these yesterday's show and today's, where normally we're getting an hour because we're, we're playing right under Hatebreed. So now that we're not, Trivium is going underneath Hatebreed and we're playing before Trivium, we're only getting 45 minutes. So <laughs> it's not bad, but at the same time, if you saw us, you know, if you're going to see us tomorrow, we're going to be playing 60 minutes. Any other any other slot on the, on the tour other than today and yesterday, we're playing 45. So, you know, it's, it's only three songs, but still three songs is, you know, could be a, a, a lot to some people. But yes, I believe um, Talk with the Knife is in the set. <laughs> to make a long story short, a long answer short. There you go. Um, what? You know, who does most of the interviews while out on the road, and who do you usually get stuck with, guys or girls? Who does the interviews of being the band? Yeah. Um, it's mostly myself and Alex, I guess, that do the interviews for the most part. Um, George does a bunch as well. Mostly us three. Um, uh, so yeah, well, that's that's pretty much that. But and then and, and it's really a mix, you know. I mean, it, I'd say it's. You know, it's maybe 60% male and 40% female, you know, so so it's a good mix. It's not like we're just doing interviews with all all, all women or all men, so I think it's, it's okay. Good mix. All right, and anything else you'd like to add? Well, just thanks for the interview. appreciate it, and uh, thanks for the support of uh, to the fans, of course, of Death Metal and Cannibal Corpse. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here today, and, uh, you know, just keep it